We head to Southeast Asia and Singapore for round 15 of the 2016 World Championship. The Marina Bay Street Circuit was the host to Formula One's first night race, where lanterns line the grandstand and cars glisten beneath the bright lights of the city's futuristic skyline. The race is one of the toughest of the year, with humidity around 80% and air temperatures even at night around 30 degrees Celsius, with the cockpits even hotter. The circuit has the most corners of the season at 23, and with drivers working hard on the extreme heat, they can lose up to 3 kilograms of body weight during a race. Let's go on board with Sergio Perez and see what makes Marina Bay so demanding. Across the start-finish line, down into the first sequence of corners, it's a fun little section for the drivers. You find yourself at turn three, riding out towards the wall, and you can really have that sense of being on that street track, using a lot of the kerb out through turn five onto the back straight. Physically, this is a tough one on the drivers, and rather surprisingly, it really puts a lot of pressure on their heels and on their lower legs because you're supporting the weight of your body around what is a fairly bumpy racetrack. We pick it up now at turn eight. This is one of the tighter sections around the track. You've got to pull the car very much across to the right before an open turn nine onto what is a reasonable length of straight down towards the chicane. Drivers will have time on this particular straight to check the systems, look at whether the lap is going well. They have an update on their dashboard that tells them whether they're quicker or slower every 10 meters as they go around the racetrack. Across a small bridge down into turn 13, he's a little bit wide on that particular lap, but then that releases the driver out across the Anderson Bridge. This is more like a motorway than a racetrack, it's so wide. No real benefit to the driver in being so because you're just always picking the path of least resistance. You start getting into the more street circuit section again and uh, an area which, with the different chicanes, you can see he's overshot the entry phase, a lot better on the exit. And then we have what is a totally unique section of any racetrack in the world. We pass under the grandstand. And now you really have the feeling that you're getting towards the end of the lap, another chicane at 20 and 21. And then there's a fantastic end to the lap, you know, a real rush for the drivers as they commit with high speed into what is 22, 23 doesn't really exist. And across the line, it's an exhilarating, high speed, physically demanding racetrack.